Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued mind let's play The Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation. My name is The Flatless Bird, this is your story based game channel, and today we are here in Mayfell after saying goodbye to our brother. That was tough. Let's continue on, shall we? I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazingly awesome day today. We made it. Yes, the moon has not yet set. The signet sphere is still safe. It means Shana is still safe. Once we go up this road of souls, there will be no return. We are climbing up. Yes, uh, are we? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm good. I mean, I could spend money, but we kind of have everything I think we need. Yes. Lavish showed us the way. I have no hesitation. Let's go. Up, up, and away we go. What's in the box? Fired Spectral Flash. Sounds like an attack item with the light element. Yep, I was right about that. By the way, uh, Kyle asked me why am I not using Mero's ultimate weapon or better weapon? Because she does have a weapon that increases her damage by a lot. And it suns an enemy. The reason I had the pretty hammer on is because it gives twice as much SP. And for me, going in and out of dragon form could be more useful than extra damage. I know it sounds weird, but she's she's not my direct damage dealer anyway. She, now, she could do damage with spells and everything, and that doesn't matter uh, what her damage is as far as her physical attack goes. So I'm not really concerned too much. I'd rather have her go in and out as fast as possible. Go Dragoon, hit. Go out of Dragoon, items. Go to Dragoon, magical spells. It was safe. That Signet Sphere is the last barrier to protect the world. Uh, if it is destroyed, there will be no other way but to deal with God itself. When Shana crosses the moon that never sets, the god of destruction will be born. Oh, so we're fighting Amon? I won't let it. I'll finish it here. I think so too. Is that our dad? Dad! I'll finish the world here. Reveal yourself. I don't hide. Our settlement is a peaceful one. We don't need weapons. A fight is not appropriate before the celebration of a birth. I won't let you. Huh? Don't come near me! Well, that didn't work. I, I won't let you. Well, that sucked. The error has already been released. To the finale of the world! The moon is falling. The, the world is ending. Does that mean that humans cannot revoke the will of the creator? Not yet. Don't give up. It's just the signet of the moon is broken. Yes. Awesome epic music. Let's go! We can still struggle. The moon has not yet obtained Shana. 
Let's go pursue Zeke. Is this a dead end? Hey, little guy. What's up? Thanks for coming. The wings of Savan. Take us to the moon. Really? This thing's just gonna fly you to the moon? It's interesting that we play this game now, considering that Earth has like two moons above it right now. I'm pretty sure in the future people are gonna be like, wait, what the heck is he talking about? We got this asteroid that's hanging out by the moon. Makes it look like we have two moons. Almost looks like Final Fantasy IX, the tree of Aoife. Yeah, I, I, it really does. I mean, maybe I should have made that connection earlier in this story like someone else did, but now it does. these things. We're gonna have a big fight on our hands. What the heck are all these? Oh my god, those are all brushes. Oh my lord. It's like thousands of them. I can barely beat one. Sorry, I cannot fly anymore. Oh, poor guy. Take care of yourself, my friend. Cologne. Everything is turning out just as he wished. The seal of the moon was broken, and the terribly disastrous plan led by Soa finally has started. Those Virages are more your advanced guards for the primary Virage embryo. We cut off the head of the snake. Do they all die? It seems the birth of the god of destruction will only be a matter of time. Does the divine tree, which gave birth to all the species, want this as well? The world is not over yet. We can still fight to save it, can't we? After you've seen those, you still could say that. Let's go. The moon that never sets is waiting for us. Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong, Dart, but we can't fight off a thousand barges. 
I mean, the last Vaj we fought, we didn't even beat. Kind of self-destructed. What a creepy place. Or something that should really be like a holy land, I guess. This is definitely not that. And the way that it's, the map scrolls the top when you transition is wild. Is this a heal spot? Rose, what's this? It's a fruit of the divine tree. It suits me dried up though. Fruit? Did all those species really arise with such small things? Only the creator so knows that, so it's just a legend for us. But we are standing on the divine tree, which supposedly was in the same legend. We'd better believe it. I guess so. Let's move on. We better hurry up, or there will be no one even to tell the legend. Guess it was not a hill spot. Manticores? Okay. That sucked. A lot. Gotta get rid of the fear. Now, I think I'm learning how to do that. You have to hit the uh, the button when it's basically at the seven o'clock-ish position, because when you press down on it, it takes like a moment. It, it's not instantaneous. Yes. <sighs> that was so bad. Two for two. Stay with me, everyone. Yippee! I don't want to say it over her. I had to wait a second. I missed the last one. And this is why she has that uh, hammer equipped. For instances like this, where I need to get my SP back quickly. I think the fruit was shed by some kind of fish. One of the fruits arisen from the drying tree? Yes, it was the same for us humans. The guy destruction will start the same way he won it. Yes, let's move on. Wait, so a fish picked out a fruit and then gave birth? I I I I, I probably totally messed that up. It just sounds weird. New enemy, what do we got? Something that's charging up. Cute cat. Aww, it's adorable. Yes. Let's look at all that SP. Look at that. She's already back. She's already back to max SP. That's why I like that hammer. It's 
not like she doesn't do any damage either. I think she's doing more damage than uh, Dart right now. Okay, a little less, but still. I like that name, Cute Cat. That was great. Wow. RNG really high there. Same fight as before. I'm gonna shut down the uh, Manticore so it doesn't fear. And if the cute cat powers up, that's great because he doesn't hurt us and he just wastes his turn. Nice shot, Dark. I've gotten better at additions. I'm not perfect. Not not by any means at all. But I do do them, I think, more than I don't do them. Yes. Of course, when I when I talk about how good I am, I instantly miss. Yep. I, I need to just shut up sometimes. <laughs> Get that garbage out of here. This stream, it seems like it is setting up by the force of the moon that never sets. It must be that the divine tree is getting ready to give birth to the god of destruction. All oh, the exclamate dots? Then if we take the stream in this. Yes, it will carry us to the top. Let's hurry. Beam me up, Scotty. Kongo's still not on the screen. What a stream! Well, I'm not really streaming right now. I'm, I'm recording, but yeah, if you want to say it's a great stream, well, you know, that's fine. If you, if you like what you see, uh, Dart, you can give it a, uh, a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Poor Kongo, though. And I feel sorry for the big guy. We got it right close. In addition, maybe because we let ourselves flow in the vital force, I feel revitalized. It means that the power of the divine tree that gave birth to all species is still alive. In order to kill all the species, it revived the power. Lightning succeeded. <laughs> Duh. Hey, there's Kongo and he caused an earthquake. What's that thing at the top? It's like a caterpillar or something? What is that? Oh, everyone knows it too. It looks like a bug? Oh, I hate bugs. Hey, did Kongo's landing awaken it? Oh, yes. Please scurry off screen. I'm quite okay with that. I am quite okay with you leaving. We gotta get going. Fired white silver dragon's armor. Let me guess, an armor for Miranda. No. It was white. Was it silver? It was white, right? So who's the armor for?
Did I misread it? White silver dragon's armor. It says white silver. But yeah, when I look at this armor. Oh, silver dragon armor, okay. It, it doesn't say the white. Oh my God, look at that magic defense. Dude, Miranda's broken. Miranda may be as broken as Meru is. She has plus two M. She has plus two magic attack over Miro. Minus five speed. But her magic defense and physical defense are basically equal. Dang. Yeah, Miranda may actually be a lot stronger than I ever thought she was. Yeah, she can only pop one arrow at a time, but she can still be really, really strong. What's that, a heal spot? Oh, we got a heal spot, cool. Party with Meru and Miranda. Bunch of speed demons. I mean, they don't really have too much brute, but they go super fast and they're and they're super defensive. This is one of the fruits too. Yes, and all the species who are born this way are about to be annihilated. Rose. Let's get going. I need to go to the save point. Before I transition, I'll just drop a hard save or a, uh, a save state. I don't really feel like that's cheating when there's a save point right there. Dart also has here a weapon that gives him extra SP too. If you're wondering why, it's mostly because his best weapon uh, requires me to give up my accessory to use it effectively. And I don't really want to do that. So basically until I find a better weapon than the fairy sword, um, he's gonna be using that. I should do an addition uh, check as well. See how we're doing with that. Darts at 59 and 60, so close. And Mary is at 71 and 80, so she's almost there. Let's go ahead and save one. We gotta be nearing the end of the game, right? I mean, considering where the story's going, considering where the bot's going, considering we're going to the moon, considering there was a point in our return, it'll be soon. Yes, but look at that. Oh, it's a caterpillar thing again. Is that the caterpillar from back there? Hey, it is a caterpillar. It's not a cockroach, so I'm okay with that. It's a miracle. There was an unhatched fruit left over. Huh? It is a subspecies of a new insect. It was just born. It is coming after us. Well, maybe, um... Maybe I'll change my mind. But now it's no longer caterpillar, so... Yeah. 
What the heck is that? Hmm. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna power up Kongo. And the reason I power up Kongo instead of Meru, by the way, is because Meru is incredibly fast, so she can use items faster. And in boss fights, I really need to use those items that, you know, power us up, that speed down the boss, that power down the boss. Whereas Kongo could just let rip. Okay, well, you know, when I'm not an idiot, you can let rip. Uh, let's see. Let's speed it down first. Let's power it down. I am learning not to go instantly into Dragoon form until I know what I'm up against. Nice damage there. That's very nice damage. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sec bomb here. Nice. It just threw slime at me. Well, Dart is immune to all. Oh my gosh, this thing's about dead, so. That was an easy, boss. The heck? Oh! It's a butterf. It's morphing into a butterfly! Look at this! We got a uh, caterpie boss! And Legend of Dragoon! How about that? Well, that's kind of annoying because we can't use our special stuff. We can't use our special stuff to, uh, to weaken it. And I'm pretty sure the final form is probably going to be the most dangerous. So let's just hit it with all we can and get us there. Cuba is probably more defensive. I can't, I, I don't know why, I, I just choked. I powered up Congo and I choked every time. I miscounted. I thought I was done with the addition and I took my hand momentarily off the controller. Why? I don't know. And I'm still messing up with Congo. I don't know what's going on. Well, there we go. Try to restore some sanity here. Final form? Alright, Cell, what do you got? What is your ultimate form? I mean, it's it's not green, but it kind of looks similar. <laughs> Imago. All right, let's take down a Mago, shall we? Uh, we don't need to really, I don't think we need to use magic. If this thing has the same HP as the other two uh, forms, we should go down pretty quick. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with me and uh, Congo all of a sudden, yes. or Dart. I I I'm just wow. This is this is sad, my friends. Now, let's see how strong you are. Not. I'm pretty sure that was a status thing, and we got lucky because we hit the enemy, hit the target who's immune to uh, status helmets. Okay, that time I understand why I missed because that's really really hard to do. Especially if you're not expecting it, which I was not. Why can't I do that all of a sudden? I've always been able to do his addition. I, I don't know what's going on. I can't hit additions all of a sudden. It is driving me absolutely insane, but I can't do it.
guy isn't hitting too hard. I really don't want to waste resources on someone who's not actually damaging me. Not a problem. Oh my gosh. I am sorry, my friends. I am choking this hardcore. This must be frustrating to watch. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I just don't know what is wrong with me right now. I, I have no clue. Like that, I can understand missing. That's really hard to do when you get the uh, the red. But combo? Thank you, Congo. It's good to have you back. 466 heal, that's insane. And the thing is, you could give that Dragon Helmet to Congo and his HP will go through the roof. Okay, I didn't seem to hit Congo at all either, and I don't know if he has any protection on. Oh, he does have some protection, doesn't he? From like the armor or something. If you know what this guy is trying to do, let me know, please, in the comment section below. I would love to know. Dang, it's so hard to do. I know I've done it before. It is possible. I know it's possible. It's just hard to do. Okay, I finally figured out what was wrong with Congo. I was rushing his third attack. So hard to do. It's one of the easiest bosses I've ever fought. Like this, this is this is a joke. <laughs> Even with all my missing, it barely did any damage to me, like any damage at all. I missed, but it doesn't matter. All oh, too easy. Way too easy. That's a lot of stuff. And a lot of it's good stuff. Uh, double level up. Dart is still kind of far away from his level up. Monk Kongo? Yeah, he's kind of far too. Uh, interesting. I didn't realize this, but Kongo needs more experience to level up than Dart. Hmm. And Mary just hit level 40. She's flying ahead as normal. Uh, yes, definitely want to replace these. Um, healing Raid for Healing Breeze. That's an e easy choice. Uh, Moon Serenade for a Sun Rhapsody. That's an easy choice. Uh, Sun Rhapsody for a Spear Potion. That's probably an easy choice. And then for an Angel's no, a Deep Petrifier. Basically, that gives me a lot more freedom to use magic now. So I don't gotta worry about restoring. We barely defeated. <laughs> we barely. <laughs> I know this game has some weird translation issues, and I know that's not a mistranslation, but that should be. <laughs> we barely... I can't even say with a straight face. Uh, we easily defeated it. Let's go. We're almost at the moon. <laughs> ah, so... Uh, what is causing all my stuff? Um... I think it's the uh, the special armor. That's fire based attacks. Well, he's got the rainbow earring on. And Meru has a rainbow dress on.
And the rainbow dress avoids poison, stun, and arm blocking. I don't even know if that's her best armor. Is it better than the uh, the blue armor? Yeah, it is. Wow, that's really good. And uh, he has the armor of your on, which uh, avoids poison, stun, and arm blocking as well. So this gives the same status protection as her rainbow dress. So that thing was probably doing something to that effect, but it really don't work. And Dart should be on his final stage of his addition now. Meru should not be far. She should be like five or six away from mastering her key step. Moon that never sets. It is spreading poison all over the world. Ah, oh, much like mist. Yeah, it's much like the mist spreading out in Final Fantasy IX. In order to stop the poison, we had to reach the core of the moon. Before it is too late. I know you could have put that on the previous line, anyway. Unless Shana and the core, as Rose says, are wedded, the god of destruction won't be born, right? We're not talking about Shana getting wedded. That's kind of creepy. It is a dilemma for us because we want to take Shana back. If we don't meet Shana, and if we can destroy only the core of the moon, the world will be saved. But Zeke is here for sure with Shana. Huh, that is the only chance to save her. We will save both the world and Shana. Fate is not in the hands of the creator, it's in our hands. We won't let Sora decide the fate of the world. That goes for Shana's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. I like it, very Terminator-like. What's this? It's an obvious thing going off path. With no, um... With no exit, so... This probably opens up when we go through the thing to the left. Or not. Nothing like getting sucked up in a tree. Is this a moon that never sets? Yes. It has been long, very. Let's get going. Don't tell me twice. Whoa. The moon is shaking? Whoa! Don't tell me, the God of Destruction is about to be born? It cannot be. The birth of the God of Destruction is our death. The power? That's right, we are still alive. Let's go, must stop my father. Wow. Is this a forest? I thought we stepped into the moon. Uh, but indeed, this tree is a true tree. Oh no, were we set to the ground? No. Listen, it's the heartbeat of the Raj embryo, the god of destruction. An empty body that is the living corpse of which the soul was taken out by ancient winglings on the day it was conceived in the divine tree. We must be in the moon. Then no matter what it looks like, we gotta keep going. Okay, that's a... Uh... So we got what we could drop. A lot of healing rates. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we need another breeze? Hmm. No, I've had two mind and body petrifiers forever, and I never ever use them. 
Bruh. Could get rid of the spectral flash. That wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Could get rid of one sun map scene because I still have multiple. Could get rid of this healing breeze because, you know, we have so many healing rains. Frozen Jet, that's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for another healing rain to replace the breeze. This music? Why is this music playing? That is weird. Oh, look at this guy. It's Ixion from Final Fantasy X. I, I can't believe I remember the name Ixion. <laughs> he also must have stuck in my brain from like listening to a speedrunner or something. Unicorn. Come on, Flightless. You do not need additions, you can pass. I just realized something. After a dart attack, it was still blue. Now it's red, but that was kind of weird how it went from blue to red. Come on! Ah. You hear the birds chirping too. It looks like a grassland. Looks like the uh, the grassland from the one of the first uh, areas in the game. Remember when we're going through the forest? Uh, now when it's snow land. Miranda, what's wrong? Music changed too. I know this place. Does it look like the forest of your home? Not only that, it is a forest of Melissa too where I grew up. So what's it doing here? I'll be back soon. Sorry, but wait for me here. There is something I have to check alone. Miranda? As I expected, this is the forest of my home. Why is this in the moon? This rose is... Mother, where are you going? Go home, Miranda. Huh? You have a kid? Uh, yeah. Mother, don't go. Father is calling you. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? Because I married that man, my life has been completely ruined. He hardly works and drinks all the time with the money earned. I don't even have enough food and I'm starving every day. I can't stand it anymore. All oh, the dots. A beautiful life must be waiting for me if I leave this forest. Yes, I can say farewell to this miserable life. Now, let's go. My mother! What? Uh, what is going on? Alright, why are we fighting one on one? I can't use Dragoon either. Hmm, I do have all my items though. So, one of the things I can do. I 
He's basically outspeed this guy. This this will be an easy fight. We we are we are very prepared for this. What is this thing called? Death Rose. Well, it's not our rose, that's for sure. About to get blown the heck up is what's gonna happen. Nice shot. Oh, it's almost dead already. Ah. Uh... Why not? Why not? That beat it? The heck? Why? Why did you bet it died in me? Miranda, I had no choice. Shut up! Dad fell ill and I became an orphan. You could never imagine how I lived since then. Uh, it hurts. The heck is that? What the heck was that? Probably should have done that because I still had power up. Two hundred twenty five SP. Crazy. Okay, this thing is back. I understand that what I've done is unforgivable as a mother. That's your mom? But I want you to understand. What do you want me to understand? I work because I didn't want you a newborn baby to starve. But he didn't even try to work. My my mother may not have been a respected man, but at least he was with me all the time, unlike you. Uh, it hurts. It's a weird boss. We're definitely stronger than it, though. I can imagine how angry you are at me, but I never forgot about you even for a moment. Don't lie to me. It's not a lie. I visited so many times to take you with me, but every time you just kicked me out. What? My mother was thinking about me? You have the same name as the goddess of Mele. She is pure and loved by everybody. I named you that because it was my wish for you. Ah, it hurts. Seems like we just gotta pop it a few times. So the red just means that more story happens, it looks like. Doesn't mean we're actually killing it. I'm sorry to make you feel lonely right now. Forgive me. I'll forgive you. No, I cannot forgive you. It's your mom. It was sort of. If I say forgive me, does she like crush me? Life is short. Screw it. Oh, you can forgive me. Thank you, Miranda. Should have saved and done the other toys. Oh well. Battle over. It's a ton of EXP for her. And her alone. Acceptance and forgiveness. Defeat death vote. So I guess I was supposed to forgive it. Mother, I was wrong. I, I like how Rose is just sitting 
or standing like slightly off screen there. I enter the palace in order to preach love and to build a world where everybody can live happily, but my heart is filled with sorrow and hatred. And without knowing, I was absorbed in fighting an order to ease my loneliness. I didn't even try to understand my mother's pain and agony just accumulate hatred and hurt many people. I don't deserve to be a sacred sister. Miranda, what happened? Like, are you really okay? Your eyes are kind of watery. Aww. Sorry, please leave me alone now. Let's go. That's the only thing we can do now. Oh yeah, one thing I think I learned from that. Oh my god, they just totally changed my entire party. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. One thing I learned from that is I need to make sure everyone is equipped. I think everyone should be equipped, but I need to make sure because if I have another fight. Um. Let's give her the light stone because she's dark based. I'm gonna give you the ultimate war god. I don't think Saint Armor is better. I'll, I'll give you. Give you the attack badge. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. So if there's multiple characters who have solo boss fights, I I'm more than ready for them. I I that, that can't just be the only one, right? That would be really weird if it was only a Miranda boss and there wasn't other bosses as well I like the story element of it I really hope there's other bosses because it gives cool story and I like story once again until I max out additions stunning um, fighting enemies is the best thing I could do But I don't want them to nuke me. So I gotta kill them quickly, and it takes two hits to kill these guys. Another chance to do her addition. Ronnie doesn't do that, of course. Hate that counter. I really, really hate that counter. A lot of XP. Wow, that is just amazing. How are we doing additions, by the way? 66, so he needs 14. And she needs five. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah. Well, it was hard to tell because we came from the top of the screen. So, yeah, it was hard to tell. Two more unicorns? I almost got first attack. He does the most damage, so I definitely want to let him rip. Ah, oh, it's stunned. Should I have attack? I should have used the magic six stone. Didn't matter. 
Although I missed the addition, which sucks. Counter. One more to go. The blue boxes are kind of hard to see on this guy because he has like this blue hair. Not making an excuse or anything, I'm just saying. It's hard to see sometimes. I would have known that chest was there. That would have helped me know which way to go. What is this? We gotta go for it anyway. Kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger, seeing all the different areas in the game at the end. What the heck? I'm in a town? There are people? What? What is going on here? Yeah, what's going on? I like what the protagonists are on the same page. Why are people living in the moon? I still don't know, but... Rose, what are you doing? You feel pain. It is certain this is not just an illusion. This world is reality. Indeed. I have never visited the moon before, but I cannot help but feel I know this place. People's faces, clothes, it's not a mistake. This is a building in Sardio. Hmm, I have traveled all over Indianus, and they have typical Sardian faces. Huh? Look, the girl over there. Looks Sardian. No, she is, uh... Nut. It cannot be. It's not your daughter, is it? Disappeared. It looks like that is reality here too. Hmm. Huh. Let's go. A weapon shop over here. Why am I searching for Stardust? There's no Stardust here. Pick up. I'm a son of the most wealthy house in this town. Pick up. Come on, I'll treat the spirits. Hang up! Oh, don't worry about money. It's all me. I'm a rich man. Hang up! You are drawn, aren't you? Indeed! Do you know him? Yes. He is... If he is my old acquaintance, this must be Bail 20 years ago. What? I am hit rich! Why well, I buy good weapons? Do you actually sell good stuff? Yeah? You do? Do I have a better weapon than a claymore? A basher? Becomes powerful inversely to HP. Hmm. I don't know if that makes him stronger as HP gets less, or if it starts out weak, or what's going on there. Our attack shoots through the roof with this weapon. But is it better than the other weapon? I'll have to check. Uh, this has massive defense, but the other gives better magic defense. Look at that defense. I'm gonna buy this, but I'm not gonna equip it just yet. Okay, I need to check on a couple things here. Kongle. Oh, 
Okay, magic defense goes down slightly. Defense shoots through the roof. But this armor gives me resistances. I know it seems dumb, but I'm going to keep the other armor because that extra magic defense is good. And while defense is really nice, he has a ton of HP. I'd rather protect slightly more against magic defense since that's his weakest stat than defense. Because even at 290 defense, he's still like double everyone else. Basher. Yeah, Basher is just much, much better. I hate to give up the extra SP, but it's much, 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 much better. What about the uh, Claymore? So the Soul Eater is still more powerful, obviously, but you have to go with the Rainbow Earring to use it effectively. So it's plus five over the Fairy Sword, which gives 15% more SP. I'm gonna use a Claymore. A female is missing. Please go look for her. Until we find her, this place is closed. When is this going to be Hassle story? Woman well, at the item shop. I'm good. This tune is. Uh, this tune is. Hmm. Alright, I know we're like over an hour. But I want to do Hassle Story first. I understand that this place is not what it appears to be, but where are we now? A oh, world behind the wall. It seems as if the Labyrinth of the Moon is not refusing us. Huh, no, almost as if it's maybe inviting us. Minitos. It seems this place belongs to them. Hey, we finally see Minitos! I think they were the 99th species. Maybe they could tell us something about this place. I wish we had a Minitos party member. We could have a Minitos party member in Congo. In Gigantos. Uh, the psych is creating this wall. This time it's whose heart, whose intention. Is it you or maybe me? The heart is a wall. The heart is a heart. The world is a heart. The created world has your color. You don't see people you should see. You see people you have to see. You have to see so that you see. You have to see so you to see it. Alright, well that's a little bit confusing. Let's drop a save here real quick. Because, for well, obvious reasons. Darn it, there's a dungeon here. I was hoping to get the Ashel's story, but if there's a dungeon, I don't know if I have... I don't know if I should go that much over to, uh... Uh, to do this. This is gonna just be an item that's attack item, isn't it? Alright, my friends. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Sorry, I didn't want to do Hustle Story, but I was expecting it just to happen. But if I gotta go through a dungeon, it's gonna take a, probably an extra five more minutes. So we're looking at maybe an hour and a half episode. I'd rather not do that today. But hey, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I'm very eager to see where this game goes. Uh, we are officially in Endgame now, I guess, because we passed the point of no return. What waits us behind every corner? Only time will tell. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. So long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.